Today's Gemara and Yuma Daf Mem Tes, a good friend for the Daf. Ravanshi is sponsored today's Daf. Lizchos, the Racha Nimo Bar Hashem, will be performing a bris this morning. Well, this morning when it's the morning of the Daf. Um, today, and uh, we thank Ravanchi for the sponsorship, and Amir Tashem, we should all just continue sharing in Tzimchais in good health together. Of course, the entire month of Sivan continues to be sponsored generously as a special Shidduch for Yisrael Chaim and Devaira, Amir Tashem, clarity is even going to be We can never forget our Chaylem and Amir Tashem and Zarish Lomzim and Yisrael Zorba Skenen to the best team as Chaysay Yisrael Lomindol, Eliyad the President of Shavu Leishu, the Shomib, as Naomi, Bashav Vegas, Shirkhan, Shmo, and Tila, the Nunchan Rezu, the Rachel, the Gitto, Milchai, as Midli, Rachel, the Musa, at the end of the Mindel, Sim Chotobi, and Navigai Fesh. We are on the top of Memtes Amid Aleph as we forge into this fifth parak of Yuma, the parak that's been dealing extensively with the Ketires, with the Chafina, with the Avaida of the Kain Gadol. Says the Gemara Mesve. Says the Gemara, this is really a continuation excuse me, of that which we started yesterday, let's pick up. Says the Gemara, Kasha on Rasheshes. Zor v'oinein shikar u'balmum b'kabola u'be'olacha u'bezrika pasal. Says the Brisa. The Brisa says, we have a non-kain, or a kain who's an oinein, he's drunk, he has a mum, What's the halacha? If he catches it, Kabbalah. Halacha, he walks with it. Zrika, he sprinkles it. Pasal. V'chein, and similarly. Yoishev, if he's sitting. V'chein, small. If he does with his left hand. Pasal. So what do we see very clearly? We see that carrying with the left hand is pasal. Rav Shisha's answer that carrying with the left hand is kosher. What's going on? Answers Gemara. Te yofta. Gewaltige Kashen, we know that Tiyofta means that it is indeed uh, no way of answering. But what's the obvious question, which we're not going to deal with in no time for right now, we'll just point out the question, then how does the Kayin Gadol carry the Ketayis with his left hand? The Mepharshim all deal with this question, because again, in the Yom Kippur, he's carrying the Machta, the coals in the right, because it's heavy, and the Ketayis in the left, but if Avay does puzzle be small, how is he carrying the Ketayis with the left? Perhaps the special din of Yom Kippur, a special din of like, a say Dei Chalaisa, say perhaps, or other answers, maybe Mabak of Sheyevshar, Sayyirach Godol, different to root him. Let's move on, says the Gemara. Vahar Rav Sheishas, who the Aisve? Says the Gemara, I don't understand. How did Rav Sheishas miss the boat? He's the one that quoted this Brisa previously. The Amrli, Rav Sheishas, the Amrli, the Rav Chista, Rav Sheishas said to Rav Chista, again, let's just get the progression. Rav Sheishas said, Avoid with the left hand is kosher. We ask from the top of our Amid that we see clearly Avoid with the left hand is possible. The Gemara now quotes that Rav Sheishas previously quoted this Brisa about Avaita with the left hand? The, what did he ask? He asked, Boy, me name Erev Chista. They asked him, Rav Chista, Elacha, Bizar, Mahu. What is that Elacha of Azar? Carries, a non coin carries part of the Avaita, Amr Lake Sheira. Rav Chista said it's kosher. Umikram um, is a yane, and I have a Pasik to prove it. What's the Pasik? They shout to the garment of Pesach and they, they sprinkle the blood and the Shitim and the Leviim skin the animal. So what do we see? We see that the Leviim are the ones that gave it to the Kayhanim who threw it on the base of Megdash. So what do we see clearly? We see clearly that if a Kayin, if a Yisrael, I'm sorry, does the Avaida, it's going to be possible. Says the Gemara. That, right, that it's going to be possible for doing the 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 zrika, but carrying of the carbon, excuse me, seemingly is going to be kosher by a Yisrael, says the Gemara. Or oh, I shouldn't say better. Let me let me explain clear. Not necessarily Yisrael. Zar means non kain. We see here a levi's involved, so a levi obviously can carry the carbon, says the Gemara. Oh my, if Rav Sheshes, Rav Sheshes is the one that quotes which brisa? Our brisa. Zar ba'ini shikar ba'amon b'kabbalah ba'elacha zrika pasul v'chein yoishem chein small pasul. Says the Gemara. I don't understand. How is it possible that Rav Sheshes missed the boat if he is the one particularly? If he is the one, excuse me. How is it possible that Rav Sheshes missed the boat if he? He is the one that quoted this price again. Rav Chista seemingly said that a non kain could do part of that void, that could do the Hilacha. Ask the Gemara, I don't understand. And Rav Shish is asked from our Brisa. Clearly, Rav Shish is of the opinion that it is possible. So, how did Rav Shish himself miss the boat? 
and think that you're allowed to do the halacha, the carrying bismol, answers the Gemara, boss, are they shame, other I say, the stories happened in a different sequence. After he heard this story, that's when he asked, not prior. Says the Gemara, Barav Chista Krokamar. What's going on? Chista quoted a Pasik. You just told me that it's clear from the Brisa that it's possible. Barav Chista himself quoted a Pasik to say it's kosher. Answers the Gemara, the oven, Maisa, it's Taba. What did the Pasuk mean? The Pasuk said that the Levium could be involved. It doesn't mean that they're properly involved. It means that Levium are involved just standing, holding part of the carbon, not doing an actual moving part of the Avaida. A very, very big difference between if you're being the one doing a walking part or if you're just standing and holding something. I don't know exactly how many questions we had from Rababa yesterday and today, but the final one says the Gemara, Chafan Nasan Mahu. What happens if two people do the chafina? Now the coin goggles, he doesn't grab it. A different coin grabs it and puts it into the coin goggles hands. What is that lacha? At the end of the day, it ends up in his hands. Take who says, we don't have a teret. But here we have a picture depicting exactly what we just said. Excuse me. Um, I think we have a picture, and I'm sorry we do not. But okay, everyone can vision on themselves, one person grabbing and giving to the other, Kayin. So, Rabbah finished, who's next? Rav Yeshua ben Levi. Bye, Rav Yeshua ben Levi. Chafan umeis mahu. What happens if the Kayin God does the Chafina? He grabs the Katiris, and then he kicks the bucket. Then he's Nefter. What happens? Mahu sheyichnaz acher b'chafina soy. Particularly, we're asking, does the next Kayin God that takes over, re- do the Chafinas again grab the Ketairis, or he takes the Ketairis that the original Kayin already grabbed. Amar Av Chanina, Baal Re'ei, Sheilas Arishayinim, come and see how wonderful it is that we're Mechavin, that we asked like the Rishayinim. Meaning, Let's just understand what just happened. Rav Chavina commented that the question of Rishub and Levi is so excellent because the similar question that was asked prior. The Gemara now is going to digress for a few moments. The Gemara is going to prove the, the, the order, the history, the chronological order, proving when and where was Rav Yeshua ben Levi. And then we're going to get back to this question. So just hold on the side. They're in the middle of asking what happens if you do, the Kain does the Chafina and then his Nifter. But first, says the Gemara, Lememra, this to say, Rav Yeshua ben Levi, Koshish sounds like Rav Yeshua ben Levi is older than Rav Chanina because Rav Chanina is commenting Baal Re'eh, Sheilas Rishayim, he was so excited that he was bechaving to an earlier question of Rav Yeshua ben Levi who was older than he asked the Gemara, but it's not true of Rav Yeshua ben Levi, Li hit Rav Chanina Lishto Shachalayim B'Shabbos Rav Chanina let me, it sounds like Rav Chanina was older, to drink this drink called Shachalayim this cress on Shabbos says the Gemara, what was the whole Shaila Lishto Shita, of course you could drink it ah, the question is, that it's not going to be there, it's not you let it eat and drink anything for a fuah. So, what's the question? Of course, you let it drink shachalayim cress. It sounds like it's some sort of remedial drink, but says the Gemara, it's Pasha, you let it drink it. No, you're grinding it up. You're not just drinking it. And that's the Chiddush. They are drug, you're grinding it up before you drink it. Says the Gemara, one second, how are you grinding it up? Okay, Misha Shari. If someone is is about to die? Of course you could grind. Of course it's Aser. Answers the Gemara. This was the question. The question was, does it work? It was a doctor question. It was a, they were asking for medicine help. Is it true, he was asking, that Kress could heal a patient so we should be Machal Shabbos for it? Again, we could be Machal Shabbos for someone who is in Zikonis the Fashis, but not if it's not going to work. We have to at least know at some level that it's going to work, says the Gemara. So why is it? Why did Rav Yeshua ask Rav Chanina? Mishom, the Baki Berefuasu. Ah, now it makes a lot of sense. Rav Chanina was a Baki Berefu. He said, that's why he's asking him. Not a halacha question, but a doctor question. That no one ever asked uh, the Eilam 
No one ever asked me, said Rav Hanina, about something about a white mule that hit him and then lived. This means that Rav Hanina knew what happened to patients and issues and sicknesses. So clearly Rav Hanina was some sort of doctor. Ask the Gemara, one second, Baka Chazina, another parenthetical. We've seen that people did get hit by this white mule and they did die. Answers the Gemara, no, the Chayi, I'm sorry, the Chayi, eh? Amos, the Rav Hanina meant that they got healed. Of course, they lived a little bit, but they never got healed from the blow of the white mule. It says to borrow further, Rav Hanina the Misi answers the Gemara, no, that wasn't a red, that wasn't a white mule, that was inu v'chivran reish kar aye. That was a red mule whose feet have white tips, so that was a bit different. Okay, so now, a bit of a digression, learning about the Shachalayim, this crest. They asked Rav Hanina, why did they ask Rav Hanina? Because he knew about doctor. The guy was dying. We wanted to know if this could work. Says the Gemara, Mikal Makam, what do we see? Rish Kari Kaminan. Mikal Makam, Shama Amina, the Rav Hanina Kashish. We see that Rav Hanina was older. So if Rav Hanina was older, why did Rav Hanina say, wow, that this question, this is the question of earlier ones, if Rav Hanina himself was older? Rav meant to say that the Shaila of Rav Shub and Levi is the same as that of the earlier ones referring to himself, that he was older, he was praising Rav Shub and Levi, how wonderful is this question, similar to the question of an elder like himself. Says the Gemara, Is that you? Did Rav Hanina really say this? Again, now we get back to our question. That Rav Shub and Levi was discussing what happens if the kind God does the Chafina he does the Kitaris in his hands and then he dies does another coin after the Chafina so Rabbi Hanina said I asked this question previously says Gemara is that real? Rav Hanina said the Torah says Bipar they have to walk into the Kodesh HaKadoshim with the Par with the animal and not with the blood of the Par Rav Hanina and Rav Hanina furthered in this price and he explained Kitaris oh, the Kitaris that the Kain Gadol grabs in his hands, Kaidem Shechita Zapar. If he does it at the wrong order, he did it before the Shechita. Again, we know that you first Shech the Par, you give it to the other Kain, he's going to sit there and mix it. Then we got to the Chafin on our Barak. Then you start doing the uh, Ketires. What if you did it the opposite? Lois, like, Lom, it's nothing. Says the Gemara. So, where did Rav Hanina ask this question? He didn't. Says the Gemara. And even more, even more, Rashi explains that it's clear, according to Rechanina, that the Kayin Gadol has to again shech the bull, and then again, why? Again, let's explain. Rechanina just said, if you did it out of order, it's no good. The new Kayin Gadol, of course, is going to have to have a new par. He's going to have to have a new shechita. If he has a new shechita, then how is he going to use the old Ketairas? Then it's going to be out of order. It's going to be no good. So what did Rechanina mean that I had the same question as Shum and Levi? Seemingly not at all. Seemingly he felt it was posh that you have to do it again. Says the Gemara, Hachi Kamar, meant to call me From the fact that Rabbi Shua ben Levi is asking me, Bayle ha, Michlal, that what does Rabbi Shua ben Levi hold? Because of our Bipar, Vafilu Bidami Shalpar. The Rabbi Shua ben Levi argues with what I said. I, Rabbi Chanina, held that Bipar, Viloi Bidami Shalpar. But Rabbi Shua ben Levi holds Bipar, Vafilu, and even with the blood of the par. Ulamai, this fear lay. And that which he held, Kishelos, like Kishelos, Rabbi Shua. Him, that which he held, and according to what he held, his question is similar to an earlier question. However, it's not that Rav Hanina himself held that way, it's that the way the Rishub and Levi is learning, his question comes out as similar to the earlier question, a bit of a history lesson, figuring out who says what and what says who. But now the Gemara says, Tachlis, two lines from the white lines, My Havila, what is the Maskana? Do Rav Shub and Levi, the guy to the Chafina, the Kohen Gadol's Nifter, do you do the Chafina again? I'm Rababa, Yichayfein, Chayzer, the Chayfein, if he did if the chafina and filled his hands, he has to do it again. The next coin who replaces him can enter with his chafina. Why? Because the chafina is already there. So our papa is differentiating within the shayla. If the original coin gadol did not do the chafina two times, rather you only did it the first time that is your question does the second Kohen Gadol do it again if the first Kohen Gadol did the Chafina when it's the Kohen Gadol 
with it on the spoon, then grabbed it in his hands, then was nifter, then we're saying for sure the next going could take over. The question is, what if he only did it the first time? What's the halacha then? Amalei Rav Huna, Berei, the Rav Yeshua, the Rav Papa, Ad the Rav says Rav Huna, what you just said Rav Papa, the exact opposite, again, if he did the Chafina, and then he did it again, then lo yikon is acher b'chafina say, then the next Kohen Gadol cannot take over, why not? Says Rav Huna, we have a problem, what do we learn at the beginning of this barak? The Chafina is tailor made, it's a custom made suit, each Kohen is different, it's impossible that the next coin gundle is going to have precisely the same hands. So no way he could take over. However, that's the question. If you only did it one time, what's the question? We had the question. Does the coin gundle fill his hands? Again or not? Says the Gemara, Tashema, let's bring Araya, Kachaisa Midasai. This is the measurement, said the Mishnah. My love, Kishem Shemidasai Mibachots, Kach Midasai Mibifnim. It has to be the same amount. So seemingly, He's going to have to do it again, like we learned yesterday, that there's a special halacha to fill your hands up again. Says, We don't necessarily have a conclusive raya exactly whether you have to do it again. But we also said Rav Huna did not answer Rav Yishu ben Levi's question. Rav Yishu ben Levi is sitting and wondering what happened when the Kohen Gadol drops dead. Can the next Kohen take over? Rav Papa thought to differentiate that if they did the Chafina and he do the Chafina again, then he could take over. But Rav Huna was bothered. That's not possible because it's never going to be the exact amount. It has to be precisely fitting, particularly in your hands. The next Kohen Gadol, no way, he's going to have the exact same hands. Tashima says the Gemara, as we move over to Again, another short arm base. What does the Kohen Gadol do when he gets into the Kaisha Kedashim? He holds the ladle with his fingertips. And some say he holds it with his teeth. And then he pulls it upward with his thumbs until he reaches it and gets it in his elbows. And then he pours it into his hands. That is the way that he gets from the spoon into his mouth, into his uh, either, I'm sorry, either his fingertips or his teeth. Again, basically he's holding the, the spoon. So either he takes the spoon and he maneuvers it with his fingertips until he can get it under his arm. Or what he does is he gets in his mouth until he gets it under his arm. And then he pours it into his hands again so that he can put it on top of the burning coals. Says the Gemara, Visayvra, how does he burn the coals? How does he burn the Ketairas? He heaps it on the coals. Kadesh Ashana Shaya Lavai. You know why? So the smoke should come out slowly. V'yesh Aymrim Bifazra. No, he scatters the Ketairas on the coals. Kadesh Ashana Mimaharas. So it has a lot of smoke. Lavai. V'zuya. This is the Avaida Kasha. Vaika Malika, Vaika Kimitsa. Elazui Avaida Kasha, me Avaida Kasha is Shabe Mikdash. Okay, so that was the end of how they performed the process of the Katairis inside Lafnaiv Lafnim. Says the Gemara, Shma Mina, let's bring a Raya. Chaifin, Vachaiser, Vachaifin, Shma Mina. What do we see? We have a Raya that they must have to do the Chafina a second time when they enter into the Kodesh HaKodesh. Says the Gemara, I just want to point out, I, I, I said one thing wrong. We, we didn't ever really answer Rav Shub and Levi's question. We tried to answer with Ravuna. We didn't answer with Ravuna. And then we sort of got sidetracked into the second halacha, whether Chaifin, Vachaiser, Vachaiser, and we brought a clear raya that were yes, chayfin v'chayzer v'chayfin, but we did not answer Rav Shum and Levi's original question according to Rav Huna whether you're going to have to have the second Kain Gadol will take over from the Chafina. Ibayilu, as we conclude for today, says the Gemara, Shachat umeis ma'u sheyichnas achar bidomai. What is that locha similar to the question of Yishuv and Levi? If you do the shchit of the Kain Gadol and then he dies, can the next Kain Gadol come and take his blood and continue the avoda with his blood? Mia amrinan bipar vafilu bid. A fundamental shayla 
How do we learn the Pasik? Is it Domoi Shalpar or not? Says the Gemara of Chanina Oimer answers of Chanina on the last narrow line. Bipar, Beloi Bidomi Shalpar, Rishlaki Shamar, Bipar, Vafil Bidomi Shalpar, Ravami Yamar Bipar, Beloi Bidomi Shalpar, Ravis Yamar Bipar, Vafil Bidomi Shalpar. So we have a, a large machlaik is exactly whether it's Bidomi Shalpar or not. And again, just to explain the two stadim. Do we say that it's Bipar, Vafil Bidomi Shalpar, that the Lacha is the Kain Gadol has to come in with the dam. We don't care where he got the dam. Even if the previous Kain Gadol shechted it, he walked in with Domei Shal Par. Or do we say no? Do we say Bipar? He has to come in with his par. If it has to be his par, it's not going to help if it is someone else's par. Ace let's try one more question. Rav Ami, the Rav Yitzchak Navcha. Nimnen umayshchani yedem imenu ash yishchait said the Gemara about Psachim that if they shechted it and they pulled away the special halacha by Karban Pesach, you have to be registered on the Karban. So what if you you with the Jew and before the Shechita. It says the Gemara of him, Isa, Ache Yisroik. If it's Allah Din, a special in the Zrika of the blood, we should say that you're allowed to withdraw from the group until you do the Zrika, Mi Ba'ilei. So seemingly says the Gemara, that is, that's a raya from the fact that it says shechita, that it has to be your animal, and if the kohen gadol dies, you're going to have to check the new animal. Answers the Gemara, shiny awesome or shiny awesome, that's a special halacha by carbon Pesach, which we dealt extensively in Psachim, that so has to be from the life of the animal, that's why it goes with shechita, but you cannot necessarily bring a raya to our halacha in general, whether it's about whether it's a din in the shechita, or a din in the zrika of the blood. Masi mar so what do we see? He says it has to be with a living animal. What we see from the Braisa that a shechted animal is not called a seh. So seemingly it has to be his own animal. That's a special halacha similar to Pesach. And the truth is we're going to pick up from here. Mitzvah Shem will go over this last question in the next year.